no, listen, listen, I'm let me finish my sentence. Let me finish my sentence. Let me finish my sentence. Finish, maybe you need to spend more time on local farming. Do you think your commodity like they're a commodity? Well. Ridiculous, mate. Laughable. I'll end up a conversation there, think about oh. it. What's this documentary, brother, on uh, Prime? What do you think? Oh. Terrible? What do you think of that? Got to eat antler. You've got to eat pigs. Got to eat antler. You have to eat pigs. Yeah. Do you? Why is that? Because it's meat. But do you have to eat pigs? I'm just asking. We eat anything over. Yeah, I mean, but you see what happens to happen to the animals in order for you to eat them. Do you think that's okay? Oh, no, but I've been saying it's, they don't do it like that, do they? They don't do it like that? No. So where does this come from? So, some of them just, just some the of them just talk. Bless you, brother. Uh, good, good shit. Wait, hey, check this out. i uh, take one of these guys. My documentary just released on Prime. Bless you, brother. So what, what are you saying? You think this is okay in order to eat animals, even if we, like, I haven't eaten animals for 10 years. Hey, brother. Hey, Mr. Carl Strong. Yeah, mate, how are you? All right, thanks. I fully support you. Thank you, brother. I watched your uh, Amazon documentary. Yeah. Even before that, I, uh, you know, the uh, change things on the government. Yeah, yeah. I suggested Tradition. traffic lights for how it's slaughtered, not just the welfare. It doesn't go anywhere. Nah. Well, I know. Well, are you a vegan or you're a I'm not a vegan. Concerned? I'm very, very picky on what to do eat. Okay. And it's, again, how it's grown and how it's slaughtered is important. Yeah. So I'm not vegan, but... I do eat a lot plant based. Uh, I would say not how more that they are slaughtered is a moral issue. Yes and no. Um, well, yeah. Well, I mean, again, in a human on... case, in a human case, it's no, don't slaughter humans. In an animal case, it's as long as you do it in the right way, it's okay. I mean, there's a controversial. There's probably a case of both. Um, oh yeah, no, down the uh, path of euthanasia and things like that. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, unjustifiable killing to eat. Oh, unjustifiable, yeah. And I think there's a lot. Uh, how are we justified to kill an animal when you know me? Obviously, I don't eat animals. I'm a vegan. No, absolutely. So we're living proof that this is unjustified. Yes, but yeah. I think you're doing the right thing by educating people. Yeah. But. But the goal of my education is not to find the right way to do the wrong thing. The goal of my education is to show that the welfare movement is failing the animals. Like what you're suggesting has failed for, for decades. No, no, I, I fully do not support the RSPCA and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, but you know, they're, they're the pinnacle of the welfare movement. So when you're saying... They're, they're really not. I think if you knew more about the RSPCA, you'd be... Well, who... who uh, I probably you, okay, well, you do know quite a lot. But yeah, yeah, I do know a lot about RSPCA, lot RSPCA, RSPCA. But what I'm saying is, what's, what's better than RSPCA in terms of animal welfare? Well, that, that's why you need to shake it up. I don't, I'm I, don't, so, my, my, I don't support them. Anything they say, I don't yeah, necessarily But when you buy believe. the meat, you support the meat, which does support them and does support the cruelty to animals. You know what I'm saying? So when you, uh, purchase, pro when you purchase products, you're donating to them, essentially. No, I'm not. Where do your money goes to work who? The farmer, usually at a farmer's market. And, and what happens to those animals? Oh, they're killed. And how are they raised? Oh, quite, quite transparently, because the farmer lets you go and look at them. Does he? Yeah. Never heard of that. Maybe you need to spend more time on local farms, I don't yeah. know. So you only eat meat from a local farmer? I buy meat from local yeah. sources which are more transparent yeah but you've which... never been like so honestly transparency is an interesting one people have the illusion of transparency like do you have the illusion of transparency no i think if farmers say you can come round and have a look and they have it open like you can see it it's relatively transparent they never let me through yeah. they never let me into the abattoir they ever let you into the abattoir um no okay. but uh, I mean, if you think the industry is transparent, then it's, it's, well, it's a naive, that, that, it's, an, it's where, very naive. That's where the issue is, it, not necessarily on the farms, uh, it is on the point of slaughter. And, and do you think that everyone here in the world, do you think the solution is small farms to feed the entire world? How are you going to meet I, the demand I, I, with a small I farm? I don't think industrialization of farming was ever a good idea. But how are you supposed to, how's everyone like yourself, like you still eat meat, so you live by your values, obviously. Yes. You eat a lot of plant-based, which is I good. I think there's still eating meat and there's different it's a spectrum yeah i understand and i understand, I, I I understand and, and also there's also different qualities of meat and 
Yeah. There's a great difference between something you know where it's reared to go to. Yeah, most people don't know. They they oh, think they, they know where it's reared. But what I've done is gone and this is a free range farm, right? Yeah. Now, if you look at their advertising, pristine, pristine advertising. It depends on the scale, though, doesn't it? What? When you how, how many people got here in England? What, 50 million? How many people in the UK? 60, 70 million? Yeah? How are you supposed to feed everyone meat without there being industrial uh, farming? Oh, less meat. Up, up to no meat. Yeah, less meat, yeah. yeah. And then and then how do you... So you, su you suggesting industrial is a good thing? No, I'm saying that in this, in, industry is required, industrial animal farming is required to feed this population. My solution is for everyone to be plant-based and not exploit animals because there's no way you can do it in, in, in a way that looks after the animals' welfare because their interests will never truly be respected because they're commodities. Animals are commodities, right? I don't, I don't know about that because some can be quite happily... I know many people that keep sheep as pets. I know many people that keep cows as pets and chickens as pets. They kill them? More often than not, no, but I know them that have. But then they're not, they're not commodities if they are well, companion you, animals. Well, just said that they are, so... No, I said... When animals are commodities, their interests will never be truly respected because they're products. So you can't, I can't have you as a commodity I, I and also respect you, your interests. the government, you are also the same. You have a value on you as for the government. We have fundamental human rights that protect us from enslavement. They're inalienable rights we have. Cruel and unusual punishment, enslavement, we can't be treated as property. Uh, we have a, a right to our life unless we forego it through like doing something horrible like trying to kill someone. But we have a right to life. You know, there's certain human rights we have that animals just don't have. They're commodities, they're property. They're like essentially slaves. Now, how can you respect a slave when they're a slave? I would also say there's human slavery going on as well. I, don't, I, I never said that that's not wrong. No, no. I, this is legally sanctioned and you are almost justifying it. If mm. the animals are treated the way that you feel comfortable with, but honestly, the happy animal doesn't want to be slaughtered. So you're not actually viewing this from the animal's perspective. Then there's sort of, then you look it. at things like eating the fallen stock, don't you? As long eating as that the fallen sorry. stock. What does that mean? When they died. <laughs> and yeah, I know that's man. not a thing at look the moment. Man. That's a but... hypothetical. You're not violating the animal's rights. I still think you're viewing them as a commodity, which is a slippery slope, obviously. That's not where you get your meat from. You get your meat from animals that have been butchered, slaughtered against their will in a slaughterhouse that you don't even, you haven't even visited. So you have no idea what goes on in there. And you're talking about like the industry being transparent. They've got no interest in being transparent because they will lose customers. Now they, that will let you in on an open farm day once they've cleaned everything up, just like they do with the RSPCA. No, I think the farms I go to, it's any day you can rock up. Unannounced? Yeah. Really? Give and, me the names of the farms. And if you go to Holton Farm, which is a dairy farm in uh, Old Pumlo. Oh, Holton Farm? Holton. And they are just allow... They, they, they literally have BBC on premises most of the time. Exactly, so it must there. be one of those, uh, the ones that they use to, to propagate, like, manipulation and say that we are the industry standard. That's why they let people in there. There's the BBC... I, I would also say, isn't uh, that a good thing? No, it's not a good thing because what they're doing is they're giving the impression that... What if you want everyone else reach that standard though? I'm telling you why it's a bad thing. If everyone thinks that's what farming is like, then they are living a lie. So the BBC and that will only go to farms that are open. They're open for a reason. This isn't the standard, right? So then people... No, no, no. no listen, I, listen I, let, me my let, me my let me finish my sentence. Let me finish my sentence, right? Let me finish. No, I'm not missing the point. I've, I've been doing this for 10 years, right? And I know exactly what they do. They get these little farms that they use to propagate lies to the people. So when people go in and they see, uh, oh, RSPC, I should, that must be like that one dairy farm they keep posting on BBC. Uh, and, no, and I'm it, saying just use that one farm. How is everyone supposed to get all their milk from one farm? Uh, everyone else isn't me. So you're only thinking about yourself? Isn't, isn't that You're thing only though, thinking about it? yourself. Isn't no, that's that selfish. Isn't that where it's selfish. Starts? My, my, my philosophy, right, is something we can all achieve and it actually helps animals and, and it solves the issue. It doesn't solve every world issue, but it solves the issue for the commodity status of animals, which leads to, like, if you're saying, oh, only for myself, like some people are like, well, we'll just go hunt animals. Well, don't but you think of being a commodity is based on the capitalist system, which is where we live. Yeah, we're we under a capitalist system. We're not technically slaves Basically, like animals everything are. everything is a commodity. Not, you're not a commodity like a pig's a commodity. They're gas. They're, this is a commodity. Yeah, yeah I've, watched, I've watched your video. I know. I know. Yes, the so what do, you, do you think your commodity like they are a commodity? I think 
squads are governed, are you? So especially the... Uh, are you a commodity like a pig is a commodity? personally, no. Are you getting gassed in a gas chamber? I would say we could be in Manchester at the moment with the pollution. Yeah, ridiculous, mate. Laughable. Well, and laughable. we have our own opinion. It's it's a no, no, it's not. It's not. No, Animals no, no. are being slaughtered, gassed in torture. You have got rights. I can't attack you. We can't attack them. We can't take them and enslave them and put them in a gas chamber. We can literally do that to pigs. You're comparing your commodity status because of pollution to theirs, which is a laughable so joke. Would it be fair for a vegan who's never eaten meat to be getting the toxic fumes from a city centre? It's not a rights violation to be involved in an environment. No, no. no it's not a violation of our right, fundamental rights. No, right. Okay. They have no rights. I'm the conversation there. Think about okay. it. Do you have something to bring to the table, my friend? Did you want to watch this documentary whenever you, I don't know if you ever get a chance to. Uh, we're just trying to raise awareness, man. We're trying to make change for animals. We're not, you know, yeah. We care about their suffering, what they're going through. I filmed all this footage for this documentary. We want people to stop give, donating their money. You wouldn't donate to an animal charity that tortures animals, but this is what you, people do when they go in and buy meat and dairy and eggs. People that have a choice, they have freedom of choice, like all these people that got cash to spend. They shouldn't be putting it into industries that abuse and kill innocent animals because they wouldn't do it for dogs. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. They feel the pain the same. Look at this animal here trying to escape. Yeah. And this no, sick. Yeah. What, what do you think deserves to happen to him? It, I do exactly. Exactly. I and but people will go that are disconnected from this will go and pay money for that to happen. So it's a level of disconnect. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, and people like that gentleman there trying to justify it with stupid <laughs> stupid <laughs> bro. Like this is a very simple. It's not complicated, man. Yeah. I've been vegan for 10 years, right? And some people don't have the education. They don't know what to look for. I get that. But I come out of prison, got sober, had no education, could barely string a sentence together because I didn't know how to articulate myself properly. And I could go vegan, right? I had access to the internet. I could have a look quickly, you know? So, and all these people here, privileged lives, education, money, they can't choose a vegan option for the animals. They have to come up with a bunch of Do you know why? Do you know why? Because they've never done it hard in their life. So they look at their suffering and they can't put themselves in their position because they've always done it good. Do you know what I'm trying to say, bro? We're asking people to be empathic towards each other. If you see someone needs help, help them, help. you know? Yeah. But we're just asking people not to hurt them. Yeah. That's different. Yeah, yeah, and there's no need to do it like that. There's no need to do it f***ing at all. Huh. You know, imagine this, right? let me give you this scenario. I've got a dog sanctuary, right? I rescued all these dogs and we treat them amazingly. They sleep on the couch inside, they're loving it. Whatever they want they have, they're so happy, these dogs. And then I take them all to a gas chamber, to kill them, chop them up for a barbecue. And I say, well, I did it in this amazing way. Yeah. What, what, would, what would everyone say? No, yeah, they think I was a psychopath, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah. You've just killed all these happy dogs. Yeah. So well, well, why does everyone look for the happy way to kill these animals? Yeah, Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Makes no sense, bro. There's no, there's no well, logic. Why are you doing it for the pigs and not for the, like, and not, and not for like, oh, the, uh, yeah. and cow stuff Good like question. That. I do for all animals, but oh, this yeah. particular movie's focused on pigs. Oh, right. And that's, oh, a, right, that's exactly right. what we're trying to do. See, now you're thinking of cows and chickens yeah. and fish. The pigs are just a, a gateway. All animals that experience the world deserve to have rights protecting them. Like, you know, you can't murder them, kill them. Even if, if, even if done quickly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's what we're asking for, for all animals. And the first step for that is for people to eat a plant-based diet, so you're, at least you're not hurting them. Yeah, yeah. Second step for that is to help us raise awareness. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you've not got a, a website? Pignorant, if you just type in, yeah. Pignorant, it'll all come up. Everything, everything you need. I'll go to the library in a minute and put it up. Bless you, brother. Yeah. Take care, my friend. Yeah. See you, mate.